morumb at ena saro korumbo chiera kitia nauru mo kore shidiera nak aropo kore shiti nia shuru koro shidia nakia ne shere ten sere ne sere nak arumbo ot ena sa shirinda ak are moria shidia korumbo Nore shiata ak are dia, no shuro koro shiria, nia shuro nore te, noro moro. Sharakarem en e sara poro, moro 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 shia, sharak are doro shu. Welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast, where each week we share with you divine guidance on where you need to place your attention, your focus, your energy, and also bring through frequencies to help you heal, to inspire you, to empower you, and to uplift you. Here's your host, Abigail Mensabonzu, with this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. Hello, lovelies. Hello. Welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. You know, if you are new to my forecast, my weekly forecast, I want to just take a, a little time to welcome you. This is something that I enjoy doing a lot. And the what drives me or inspires me to do this is to open you up to begin to see the different energies that come in or flow in and flow out to constantly help us in in the work that we're doing in the self you know self growth and the 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 life journey that we're on there's constantly cosmic and divine energies coming in to support us on our journey to help us break through to help us to you know recreate to help us to tap into more of who we are so these weekly goddess energy forecast um is something i do to teach you exactly that to talk about what energy is or energies are currently present at this time and what does that mean and how can you work with them? So shall we begin? So this week, it just, I love how everything unfolded. So Saturday was the 11-11 portal. And like I talked about last time, um, last week, we are in that 11 energy all month long because November is 11 month, the 11th month. So it's not just Saturday that that's it, right? The portal begins opening when we step into, you know, November 1st and then it reaches its peak when it aligns with the day on 11-11. And then that door can, is slowly closes as we get to the end of November. And then the 12, <laughs> the 12 portal begin to open in December. And that's something we'll go into as we get close to December. So we just went through or we just received like the door is wide open for the 11-11 portal. And we just received an influx of activation. And the way that I saw this activation, it was like a drop of inspiration, a drop of dream, a drop of vision. There was an awakening of vision, an awakening of a dream. I'm seeing like dreams that have been dead or have been stored away because of doubt or fear being reawakening. And I'll go more into details about what that might look like for each person and also what, you know, what that looks like for me as well. But that is what it's like, the, the theme here is like, dream big. Like, can you allow yourself to dream? This is These are questions that I extended to my students in the Goddess Unleashed program when I asked them, what does your dream life look like? And what does your business, your dream business look like? And I ask them to write it down without any attachment. Just let it flow. Whatever comes through, let it flow. I also ask them to pay attention to what inspiration keeps coming through and write that down as well. Because that's going to, that's the whole month. That is what is being activated, you know, and I asked 
I asked my higher self why this, because here's the thing, each year we go through this portal because each year we move through November, right? But each year's level of portal is flavored differently depending on the energy of the year and what other cosmic energies are dancing with that energy. And so I asked, I was like, why is this 11-11 portal about awakening dreams and visions? And I was shown like the next year's energy. Let's just put it that way. And, you know, this year, when we move into next year's energy, like the energy is something that we have. This is what came through. And this is what I felt is, is something that we've never encountered before. It is a brand new energy that we are stepping into for next year, for 2024. And I love the fact that it's also the year of the dragon. So big things will be unfolded next year and we are being prepared. Here's another thing that, another thing that came through, you know, most of the years, and I talk about this, especially if you've been following me for a while, where, you know, like moving from one year into another, usually it takes in it takes until the march of uh, the new year before we move into the new energy but this time what i'm seeing is that the 2023 energy is closing in this in november so by the end of november most of you will already be feeling 2024 2024's energy and even operating in that new energy how fascinating is that it's way early. It tells me a lot about the the frequency, the vibration of the collective consciousness and where we are currently. Like it is closing in November, not in March of the new year, right? That's, that's incredible. It also tells me how powerful this new year is, how powerful it will be. And I, as I'm talking, I pause because I'm being shown that the door closing in November is because it's a, it's a close of, a, of the old era. So it's, it's a huge door closing. And there's also a huge door opening. It's a new door opening to the new era. And that's fascinating to me because I'm curious to what will unfold in this new era. But one thing I know is that we're starting this new era in the energy of the dragons. It's, it's the year of the dragon. You know, if you um, if you've read the Sophia Code or you work with the dragons, you know, they're very powerful. Um, and I'm just whether you're a dragon, you know, Chinese sign or you're not. Like it is a powerful year that we're all going to be entering. And it's not just a year, it's an era, a brand new era. So we're seeing this close, this wrapping up of a whole new era by the end of November. And then when we enter December, the door to a new era opens. It's just, it's mind blowing, right? And so what is going on with November, the energies, these powerful frequency, these powerful um, vibrations that are coming through is supporting us, getting us ready to enter the new year. Absolutely incredible. And as I'm talking about this whole new year, so one thing that I do each year, um, I do a closing ceremony. And in this closing ceremony, we basically come together in ceremony and it'll be on Zoom. And we review what the past, you know, what the past year has been or what the current year has been because it happens in December. And then we tap into the energy of the new year for the collective and also for each individual who's there. And you get to receive. It is mind blowing what happens. Each person who has been able to join me, this will be the third year I'm doing this. It used to be just for my goddess on leash program um members only and this is the third year that i'll be opening this closing air ceremony for those who are ready to come in and close the year <laughs> you know in a very powerful way while opening up to receive and what the new year has in store for you specifically and so Keep your eyes out on that. I'll be putting that out for, I'm going to be opening the sign up soon. So yes, <laughs> hold on to that. But also, I was, as I was talking about that, it came to my mind. So let's go back to this week. So we walked through the 1111 portal, which is really like, oh, 
this high frequency, like pay attention to some of the ideas that are popping in your mind right now. And like, this is what I've been telling everyone, just write it down. You don't have to worry about the, okay, what am I supposed to do? What is the steps? How do I make this happen? That is not the point at this time. That will be, there'll be time for that. What I'm getting is just write it down. Just simply write it down. When you see something, when you feel something, when you hear something that you're like, oh, yeah, write it down. Because there will be a time, like that's what this energy, this 11, 11 energy is activating. It's like restoring old dreams that are that are actually part of your soul path and or bringing in new dreams that you're meant to step into and make it happen, your new dreams and visions. So just write it down. Give yourself that space to open up. It's very important for you this month, actually, to just open up to receive and paying attention to what you see, what you hear, what you feel, because we know spirit communicates with us, with all of our senses. Right. And also your dreams. Pay attention to the dreams that you're having at night. Because we know once we close our eyes, our subconscious mind steps forward. So there might be things that we were supposed to catch during the day that we didn't because we're so busy doing everything else. But when you're dreaming, it allows the visions and the, the messages to really flow through. So pay attention to what is going on there too. It's just such a beautiful time. So we move through this portal and then we start the week in new moon in Scorpio. And I love this because again, it's a new beginning. You know, we're we're receiving the seeds of activation, the, the new seeds of vision and dreams during the 1111 portal. And then with the new moon, Scorpio steps in and says, let's dig deep. Let's go deep. What are the things that light you up? What are the things that you would like to create in your life? What are the things that you would like to call into your life? What are experiences or people? What are the, the, the experiences that you would like to experience more in this lifetime? Let yourself dream deeper. That is what I'm getting. We're digging, we're going deep and we are bringing up the old dreams. Like Scorpio is going within and just saying, here, remember this, don't forget it and puts it right in front of you. And again, there's nothing that you need to do because it will unfold. Once it's brought to the surface, it will unfold. Anything else that you need to work through in order for that to open up and begin to ground and root will unfold. So I love this, that we move through the 1111 portal. Then we we um, we move into the new moon and Scorpio really helping us to plant the seed deeper into the earth so that the earth can hold it and nourish it and allow the roots to begin to establish into the earth, deep into the earth. And as I'm talking about this, I'm getting that, you know, you might receive a vision or a dream that maybe it's not ready to unfold at this moment. But what it's going to be doing is that it's going to be rooting down. It's going to be rooting into the earth. It's going to be establishing its root deep into the earth. And then when the time comes, just like when spring comes and all the plants resurface out, your vision, your dream will begin to do that too. This is such a fertile time that we're in, such a delicious time that we're in. I hope you're excited. So, you know, my advice for you this whole week, actually this whole entire month, the rest of the month, keep your journal close by and write down the things, the spark of inspiration that comes through. The, the vision, the dreams that come through it that you're like, oh, that would be nice. Like you think about it and you're like, wow, that would be amazing. Write it down. You don't need to know the how or the what. Just write it down. That's it. Because here's the thing. I, I think I've mentioned this before. There's magic in writing something down. When you grab that pen and you write whatever it is on paper, you are grabbing that that desire, that dream, whatever it is that you're calling in from the ethers, from the spiritual realm, and you're pulling it into this physical realm. 
which is what manifestation is. <laughs> we're, we're grabbing the seeds from the spiritual realm and pulling it into this physical realm so that it can begin to unfold and root in our lives. So write it down. Again, I keep hearing, just write it down. Keep your notebook with you. Whatever dreams, aspiration, whatever inspires you, write it down. And you don't need to know the how. It will unfold if it's meant to be at this time. If not, it will be establishing roots so that when the time comes, just like with the plants, with this, when the when the spring comes, your spring comes, then it will unfold. Mm. So <laughs> let's go into the messages. So I'm so excited because I am using... Kyle Gray's new deck is called the Divine Masters. This deck is beautiful. Um, it, it is. It, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love Kyle Gray. He reminds me of Archangel Mikael. I don't. I just. I have one of my gifts is that I have the ability to see the the um, light lineage, the ma light mastery lineage within people. So I can see goddesses within women. Um, I can even connect women to certain flowers, you know, and goddesses and, you know, even archangels that you're connected with. Sometimes you you are the archangel like the, this is just incredible. And um, Kyle Gray is one of the people that every time I look at him or hear him, I'm like, that is the embodiment of Archangel Mikael. Like just straight out he is. So I love his work and I love his story about how everything unfolded. If you if you don't know about him, go check him out. Um, you can find him on the social media. He is more active on Instagram. He does like these readings, he does these messages. Like it's just beautiful. He's such a beautiful being. But his new deck is called the Divine Masters, and it is so potent. <laughs> it's so potent. So I am going to be using the cards in there. Like he really brings together the the ascended masters, the masters of light. And so to really help us to anchor more of our light masteries within ourselves. So um, I'm really curious to see what cards come through to support you this week. With that said, let's go ahead and move into the centering meditation. So close your eyes, taking a deep breath in and out. Let's do it one more time. Breathe into your body, into your heart. And out. Bring your awareness into your body. Bring your awareness into your heart. And I want you to open up your heart. You can set the intention that you are open to receive all that is for you. Receiving all the lights and the blessings from the divine. And the message from the, the masters of light or the master of light who's here to support you this week. And as I said, that they were like through the 1111 portal. So we're going to put it that way. The master of light who's here to, to guide you through the 1111 portal and also mentor you through it. Yes, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So bring your awareness into your heart. Open up your heart. And then send your channel from your heart. Reach up out through your crown, all the way into the heavens. And envision, see, sense, or feel that, that divine consciousness. Mine always looks like a ball of light. And just whatever that looks like for you, go ahead and anchor, like plug your, your channel right into that source. And open up your channel and begin to drink up that divine love and the divine support. Bring it into your heart. Let it anchor within your heart and then let it continue spreading through your entire body, down your legs, out through your feet and into the earth, creating these roots of light. And these roots of light dig deep into the earth. There we go. Bring your awareness back into your heart and extend that channel downward this time. Bring it all the way down. Let it enter into the earth. Let it go all the way down into the middle of the earth. And there you will see the heart of the Divine Mother open and ready to hold you, to bless you. And again, send or anchor your channel right into, into her. Open up your channel to begin to drink up her love, her support, her nurturing. Bring that, that elixir into your heart. 
Let it anchor within your heart before it continues spreading out throughout your entire body. Let your cells drink it up. I'm seeing like this is the image I'm seeing is like almost like drinking this yummy green juice that is just awakening your cells. Yeah. So bring it all the way up. Let it continue up until it comes out. It kind of just spews out from the crown and spews out all around you like a geyser. Bring your awareness back into your heart. I want you to place your hand on your heart and call in your higher self into your heart. Ask your higher self to be fully embodied within you. And go ahead and witness your higher self arriving within your heart. And see your higher self move into your heart and sit in that, on that throne within your heart, that throne, that flower throne I'm getting. Whatever that looks like, it might be just a light throne, but your higher self takes it, his or her seat within your heart. And the moment he or she does, her radiance spreads throughout your entire being. There you go. So now within your heart, you have the light of the Divine Mother from the earth, the light of the Divine Father from the heavens, and your own light through your own divinity through your higher self. Bring all three light together. There we go. Probably you would do that automatically. And it creates this crystalline ball of light, very powerful, very bright. And it's just pulsating within your heart and expanding, creating this layer that just keeps expanding and expanding until it wraps out, it comes outside of you and create this opalescent, crystalline bubble of light all around you. And I want you to breathe into this space, this centered space where you're connected to heaven, you're connected to the heart of earth, and you're connected to your own divinity. Bring in gratitude for this connection, for this love. And at this time, ask your divine guides and guardians, your divine posse, to surround you in that beautiful golden circle of light, love, and support. There you go. And again, bring in gratitude, being grateful for their presence, for them choosing to come work with you this lifetime, for their blessings, for their love, for their support, for the ins inspiration, for the upliftment. There you go. For the magic that continues to flow into your life and overflow in your life. Taking a deep breath in here and out. And go ahead and ask which of these ascended masters is here to work with me through this 1111 portal. One, two, all three. Taking a deep breath in. Receive your number or numbers. And when you're ready, exhale. Open your eyes, open your heart, ready to receive your message for this week. Welcome back. All right, shall we begin? If you received one, you are working with Hathor through this 1111 portal. And this card is about light, like light activation. This card is about acceleration, brilliance, and it says stand in your light. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. You know, the funny, the image on this card reminds me of my sister. I'm actually going to take a picture and send it to her after this. It's gorgeous. So a little bit about um, Hathor or Hetheru. And then we'll move into the message. Hathor, also known as Hetheru, is the cow goddess of ancient Egypt and the solar goddess who is strongly connected to the sky and fertility. Hathor worship dates back to the third millennium BCE. Hathor is easily recognized for she wears a sun disc on her head, held in place by two horns, relating to the cow and to wisdom. She is also wi widely represented as a human-like being with a pair of cow ears, which is what the image in this deck is based on. Heteru, 
means from the house of Horus. And it has become accepted that Hathor is the divine consort of the hawk-headed deity Horus. This connection gives her cosmic energy and a link to the stars, star beings, and star potential. It is also believed that she is likely the daughter of the sun god Ray, and therefore carries the infinite light of the sun. In modern spirituality, Hathor is the face of a divine race known as the Hathors, enlightened beings from the stars who are helping people on earth reach their highest potential. So if you received card number one, you know what is happening. You are receiving the seeds of your highest potential. Um, it's more like your seeds are cracking open in a way. So here's the message from Heteru or Hathor. Light, joy, and success surround you now. If you have been going through a dark, challenging time, the clouds are now parting and the light of the sun is shining upon you. This is a time of acceleration and success. You are beginning to build momentum and things are starting to move forward. Old dreams and visions may come to light now. I'm going to let's highlight this part. Old dreams and visions may come to light now, for whatever has been blocking you or holding you back is now being released, making space for an influx of energy, drive, and movement. Hawthorne is encouraging you to set your sights higher than before. Reach for the sun. Bask in your own brilliance. If you have, if you have held back on expressing any of your talents, or bring into light information that will support your growth, now is the time to bring these things into the light of day. If you have been holding back on the project or waiting on the right time to move forward, that time is now. The wheels are turning and your life is moving. Enjoy the light. Thank you, Hathor. Thank you, Hateru. Beautiful. Taking a deep breath in and out. Let's move on to card number two. If you receive two, you are working with Vajra Yogini. The goddess Vajra Yogini. And this card is about transcending fear. It says, facing fear leads to fearlessness. Embrace your power. Again, it's perfect, right? As your visions and dreams are awakening, of course, the fears will also awaken. And you are being given the tools to help you break through those fears so that your dreams and your visions can come to the light and unfold. So a little bit about Vajra Yogini. She is a tantric deity acknowledged both in Buddhism and Hinduism, who represents the path of feminine Buddhahood. Vajra means thunderbolt, and a yogini is a female achieving the state of yoga, which is the union of the mind, the body, and the soul. Vajra yogini is a dakini, which is a Sanskrit for sky dancer a powerful supernatural being who is fearless and also at times wrathful in her mission to bring enlightenment to the earth. She has actually been described as semi-wrathful because her presence is sharp and fearless. From a spiritual perspective, Vajra Yogini can help us move into a space of awareness and enlightenment. When she comes to you, she will lead you along the path to knowing yourself better. And since this is a less traveled path, there will be many encounters with your fears along the way. And here's her message for you. You would never know what it, it was like to be fearless if you hadn't encountered fear. This is a time when you are able to look fear in the eye and see it for what it is. Fear is just energy, and energy can be changed. This can be an intense experience because the human self is conditioned to be scared by the prospect of fear. And so when fear appears, it can send us running, when in fact it's an invitation to arrive. Your fears are appearing now because you are on the verge of a miracle. 
you have a real opportunity to know yourself better than ever. When you finally face your fears, they will no longer have power over you. When they have left you, though, there's a good chance you may feel energetically drained or empty. This isn't because something is missing, but because your fears have been taking up too much space. This is an opportunity for you to call love, miracles, and anything else you need into your space. You are learning to use your power and are being given the courage to embrace what you truly are. Freedom is within sight. Taking a deep breath in and out. All right, let's go ahead and go to the third card. So I love this. We have the, you know, the masculine Buddha and the feminine Buddha both represented in this week's reading. And I think it's beautiful. So if you receive three, you are working with Buddha this week. And this card says, an heightened awareness. Make peace with your thoughts and your world. A little bit about Buddha so Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, started his life as a mollycoddled prince. But one day he broke free from the palace grounds and was exposed to the harsh reality of life in the form of sickness, age, and death. It shook him to the core. Suffering was real. This set him off on a spiritual adventure that would lead to leaving behind all earthly pleasures in order to search for an end to all suffering in the world. Today, the Buddha is a spiritual master who is willing to help all beings move beyond fear and suffering. Even if you are not practicing Buddhist, even if you're not a practicing Buddhist, this amazing soul will help you reflect on your past and understand your present so that you can reach a heightened state of awareness and stay connected to what is real and true. And here's your message from Buddha. Don't fight the thoughts that disturb you. But when you fight your thoughts, you create a war in your mind. Your thoughts aren't your enemies. In fact, your mind is a neutral space that allows you to connect with both fear and love. When this card comes to you, you're being guided to know that when you experience fear, you have an opportunity to stand in love. When fear, when your fears appear in thought form, instead of fighting or running from them, be aware of them, acknowledge them, and realize that they are a part of you. Just like Buddha, you have the ability to become one with all that is. When you see your fears and experience them with all of your being, they can no longer have power over you. You see, you are only trapped by the prospect of fear, not fear itself. Today, you have the opportunity to make peace with your thoughts in order to encounter more peace in the world. Mm. I see a thread that weaves through all the cards. They're all talking about stepping into something new and also how that triggers fears um, how that triggers the, the the fears within the heart, the mind, the spirit to come up for us to move through. And I love that these ascended masters, these masters of light are coming through to help us to break through so that our dreams can truly manifest and unfold. Like the feeling I'm getting is that the dreams and the visions that we're receiving, they are unfolding. But we're also given the tools that we need in order to break through anything that might be in the way of that unfolding. And I love that a lot for us. It is a beautiful week for that support. And actually, these, you know, um, these Ascended Masters are actually going to be with us for the for the rest of the month, helping us through this. This is so important. And these dreams that are coming up there, they're going to feel really big. They're, the, they're like your big dreams. They're probably like the dreams, the kind of dreams that you've had for a long time, but perhaps you didn't have the courage to you know, move forward to it, or you are afraid to move forward, or um, whatever reason that you might have had. But this is the type of dream that it, it just like lights you up. You've been thinking about it for a long time. You've been feeling it. And these are the dreams that 
this new era needs. <laughs> this is how we create our new world through our visions and our dreams, those dreams that we used to have when we were younger. You know, everything that we desire, everything that we've dreamt of, they were, they're not coincidence. They were dropped within us for us to bring it through. We are the creators of these dreams. Nobody else can do it. We are the carriers of these dreams and visions because we are the ones who are meant to create it into this world. So I'm seeing an activation of dream and seven visionaries with <laughs> this 1111 portal. Activation of dreamers and visionaries at this time because they're the ones who will bring through the new earth, the golden earth, and the new era. So if this is you, the time that you have been hiding <laughs> is over. And it is time for you to allow these seeds of dreams to plant, drop it into the world, find people that you trust and share, share it with them so that they can help you create that field of support around that seed so they can grow. You are the ones who will bring through the new era and help us to build the new world, the new, the golden age. We know that there's a new age starting, but we have no idea what that will look like. Well, the dreamers and the visionaries have always known and will always know. And they're the ones who are being asked to have courage to let the dreams and the visions through to drop the seeds deep into the earth so that it can take root and grow. Mm, I love this. I love this. Oh, yes. Taking a deep breath in and out, allowing these messages to anchor. Mm, let it root within your heart and your body and your being. And again, step into gratitude for receiving this master level <laughs> support and mentorship. Beautiful. I'm definitely feeling the last card, Buddha, the Buddha card. That's the one that um, I'm, I feel like is coming through for me. So I'm curious to hear which of these cards or card resonated with you when you heard it. I would love to hear, put that Put, put it in the comments um, with this video or send me a message and share that with me. Beautiful. All right, my dear. So before we go, you know, um, as you know, I'm looking for women who are channels and oracles and intuitives who have the ability to tune into source energy, into higher divine energy and bring through powerful channeled messages that can help us in this new era <laughs> that can help all of us in this new era i am my vision is to co-create a book of light a book that even when someone touches that book it blesses them so much it activates them and i'm calling in women who are able to help co-create this by bringing through these channeled messages that can change life and bless people so if this is you, I am looking for you. Click on that button and come through and come join us. Come join me in co-creating such a powerful book. There's already seven women who have said yes in this container, and I'm looking for five more to go. So if this is you, wait no longer. Come join us. Let's do this. This book is ready to be birthed. Remember, we're talking about dreams and visions, seeding and being born and being brought to the, this is one of mine. So let's make it happen. If this is you, let your message resonate in the world. Let it vibrate. Let it touch more, more hands, more hearts than you can imagine. And that is what having a published book is about. First of all, you leave a legacy. Second of all, your work touches and reaches more people than you could have ever imagined for many generations to come. So click on that button, sign up, and I'll be waiting for you. All right, my loves, have a wonderful week. Remember, allow those dreams and visions to come through. Get out of the way. 
keep a notebook next to you so that all of these inspiration that comes through, the, the visions, the pictures, all of that, the feelings, write it down. It's not about knowing how, it's about just allowing it to come through. And when you write it down, you're pulling it into this physical reality. Enjoy this week. <laughs> Work with your master of light or ascended master to help you move through the fears so that dreams and the visions can truly come forth from my heart to yours. Until next time, have a wonderful week. Yeah, yeah.